Okay everyone, here is your tutorial on how I watermark my photos. I use PicMonkey. Um, the web address is www.picmonkey, like the animal, .com. It is a free website. You can pay to upgrade to get a few extra spiffy little things, but totally not necessary for basic editing and adding your watermark. So this is what the home page is going to look like. You're going to come up here to this edit button. You'll get a drop down um, or you can just click on it. You're going to go find whatever picture it is that you want to edit and you're going to double click and it should bring it up for you. So over here are all of your editing options. And if you already have a logo or watermark made, you're going to go to this little butterfly and that's your overlays and you're going to click that. It will give you some basic ones that you can choose from if you want. I have my own that was made for me, so I'm going to click my own and then you're going to find wherever that's hiding. So I'm going to go grab mine really quick if I can find it. Why? There it is. <laughs> so I've got it there and you can see it's shown up here. You can change the size of that guy. So I am going to make it bigger. And this guy, you can get him out of your way, but he will stay up there. So I'm going to put my watermark. This is my actual logo there. And then once you click off him, he's done. I'm also going to add our little Miss Bliss creation one. So I'm just going to click this again. And I'm going to grab that one except that wasn't the one I wanted. So I'm just gonna click the delete button and it'll get rid of it. I tell ya, sometimes there are too many things going on. This is the one I want. <laughs> and so I'm gonna put that down in the other corner and again, I'm just gonna resize it so that it's a little bit bigger. And voila, you're done. You click the save button up top, it'll save it and you can do what you want. Now, if you're somebody that does not have a logo made or a watermark image, you can totally add your own. All you're gonna do is hit this text button here. These are all my fonts that I have uploaded to the computer. There are default fonts here that you can add. I'm just gonna show you what it'll look like. Um, so once you click whatever font you want it to be in, you're gonna click add text. It'll pop up over here. You're going to type in whatever your name is. Okay, and so you can see that typed in here. Now to make this a watermark or so that it's see-through and it doesn't totally block out your picture, you're going to highlight it. You're going to come here to this screen that pops up. You're going to click your blend mode and you're gonna to wanna to make it an overlay. Now right now it was with black as my color. You usually do your overlays in white, so you're just gonna change that. And I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. So now you can see that even though it's there and my image is watermarked, this fancy little guy will turn it that you can still see through and see your image. You can lighten it I would, um, by using your fade and it will lighten it a little bit as well. You can do this in any color you want. If you want it blue, do it blue. If you want it aqua, do it aqua. If you want it red, so you can do that whatever color you want. Again, you typically do it white, but that's totally up to you. Um, so since I have this done, I'm going to save it really quick. It should only take a second. You can see all of my million different <laughs> places that I hide things. So while that's after that's done saving, then to create your album, you're gonna go to your fan page and it's just like creating an album on your regular Facebook page. You can go to photos, go to albums, and all your albums should pop up here. You can add it to an existing album, or if you're going to make your own, you're just going to click that Add Photo button. Click on all of your pictures that you want to add. It'll upload. You can change your album 
um, name up here. So we're going to call this Little Miss Bliss Creations. And then this is where your description would go and you can add whatever you need to there. And then here is where you would add all your descriptions about your photo, the price, a description of what it is, yada, yada, yada. All your other photos would pop up here and you'll click post, which is down here on the bottom. My internet is slow down here in my basement, so bear with me. There it goes. And so now, voila, there it is. If you click on your albums again, now it should pop right up. So you can see here it is. Your newest ones are usually the first one loaded. You can see that these are all of the other albums I have set up on my page. So you guys, it's really simple and easy. It's not anything to stress about, I promise. And if you need more help, let me know. We're so excited for our auction and we really hope that you'll join us. Have a good night, ladies.